Our truce with the Ottomans will be over here in a little over two years, and you know that means it's time to prepare to spank them yet again. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Venetian Sea campaign here as Venice in EU4. I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. I certainly have been. If you are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe and ding the bell. There's plenty of content you're missing out on if you have not done said things. Either way, I do want to thank you guys all for taking the time to spend it here with me this morning. I hope you guys, or this afternoon, or whatever your local time is. And uh, if you guys have been enjoying the campaign, I appreciate any and all support. So, we're going to get my armies down here. Just get them prepared. I should probably, you know, my maintenance is half. Uh, we'll turn it down a little bit more. A little bit more money in the bank means a little bit more money to invest into buildings. Now, this is already level 3, and then these two over here are only level 2. But, um... Hmm. Perhaps steering a bit more trade. So, like, if I could upgrade this guy down here, that would be a good one to upgrade. How are we doing on tech? Yeah, we definitely want to get mill tech. So, we're going to hold off on those for now. So, it looks like, uh, uh oh, stinky. <laughs> Ottomans is getting beat up on. They attacked them. Oh, they're going to win that. That's their entire army over there, though. So, that's uh, good news for us. That means whenever they get out of this war, I'll be able to occupy all these provinces, which is great. Bulgaria's opinion of me has been improved. We are indeed orthodox. So if you take a look here, most of that is going very well. We are converting Spilato right now, and we have our uh, missionary strength guy there, which is good. I will hold off, and I will save up my mana a little bit, or my money a little bit, rather. It's good to have a little bit of a war chest anyways whenever you go to war, especially if you're going to war with a ma major like the Ottomans. Byzantium is uh, irritated about divert trade. Yeah, you know, that's understandable. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I got money, so I might as well uh, pay him. The divert trade is big because that takes a lot. Oh. Hmm. Where else am I steering from? Over here? Yikes. Let's, um... Let's see. Let's actually go to the trade screen. I don't ever use these guys. People ask me why I don't. Um. So let's see here. Does this tell me any numbers here? No, so let's transfer with you instead of from Alexandria. Let's see how that affects our trades. We're making 13.4. Oh, that definitely hurt it. All right, Revolution in Venice. Well, we're going to have to take a look at that because uh, that doesn't look good. Uh, let us not be intimidated by a bunch of scoundrels, which hurts our Republican tradition, our stability, our prestige, and we get some regiment, noble regiments. Or we uh, lose some stuff, the traitors, and we have an election. This guy is not that good, so I don't actually care. Give in to their demands. Uh, Yeah, I think I'd actually rather do this one. Didn't it say that we were going to have an election? Okay, we did not. Very good. It's a solid uh, vanilla event there. <laughs> we do have some rebels in Dalmatia that are looking to pop, so let's turn that forward on here. I assume it's... Hmm. Intolerance. No. Alright, let's turn my army maintenance up here. I'll just go suppress them real quick. We still have some time. We still have like a year before... Oh my gosh, are you joking? Bruh! What is this? I guess we'll abolish the tax. Oh, they fired in that province there? Tragic. All right, let's uh, have the Navy bring those guys over there. Boat bomb them. There you go. But now we don't have to worry about the rebels anymore, so it's all good. We need to convert more stuff, so let's convert Zara, since it's right there. I'll take the admin mana. I don't care about inflation. That means nothing to me. Yeah, I'll take the money. The Republican tradition is fine. I'm not going to re-elect this guy, so it doesn't matter. Or, you know, we don't re-elect, but yeah. It's fine. Republican tradition is much more of a formality when you're playing as a Venice. Dude, what is up with all these? We're getting so many of them. This is good, though. Have I converted this entire area? Very good. So we can now consecrate this metropolitan, which will give us the 5% Patriarch Authority and to help out with devastation reduction as well. So good stuff. We're up to 15. Uh, now we're getting some scaling modifiers. If you don't know, Patriarch Authority. At the lowest Patriarch Authority, you get uh, nothing. And at the highest, you get missionary strength, local unrest. And this is in provinces that have... Um, that are orthodox, so it's basically three tolerance of the true faith. And then uh, local manpower modifier. 
which is nuts. That's actually that modifier right there, the 33% local manpower is kind of what makes Orthodox so overpowered. Plus they have one tolerance to true faith. Basically it's very big on stability and uh, you also get some bonuses to manpower. So it's just like, there is literally no downside to it. So the truce is up in October and uh, yeah, Ottomans are not doing too good, man. They have some men over here, but they're going to win the war. But um, all this land is going to be really devastated. The nice thing is, is that every single one of these provinces that the Ottomans has over here is going to be given to my vassal. And then in the next war with them, we'll attack them for that. I'll probably take this one for myself or something, right? No big deal. Interest per annum or lose inflation. Well, I have one loan, but I can pay that off like right now. So I'll just go with the inflation reduction. That's fine. We're getting a bunch of events. More than I feel like I'm used to, but it's okay. Let's take a look at our force limit here. Yeah. I suppose we do a shift consolidate here. Or not shift, shift consolidate. A shuffle split to have them equal. And um, we're going to blockade their navy, no doubt. Um, do I have any more ships somewhere? I do not. These guys are privateering in Alexandria. Do we still have our, sub, or our rival stuff set up here? Pope Man is my rival. We're embargoing him. We are also embargoing them, which is good. And uh, we're going to attack the Ottomans as soon as we are able. And it will be for a... Wait a minute, they're losing now? Oh! Nani, what happened? <laughs> How in the world did the Mamluks get involved? Okay, I don't ask questions. But we are going to go for a reconquest. Um... And that will allow us to get those guys handled very quickly. Uh, also, I need to make sure that I embargo them. I'll go with production efficiency. That's fine. Now, we can't get any um, occupations over here, but I can... Oh. But I can get some occupations or some... Uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Uh, what is this called? Looting. I like to loot. You know? We're like Americans. It's a, it's a tradition here. We loot and then we say that it's fine. What is private property? They have insurance, don't they? Har, har, har. But yeah, the looting is great. Helps us, you know, kind of supplement our income here for the war. Uh, now they do have an army. I'm going to keep my forts turned on. I don't know where their army is, but uh, yeah, they're actually getting crushed in this war. And we are blockading their capital there. Oh, I got this fort over here. Oh, it's not a fort, sadly. They deleted the fort. Um, it would be foolish you guys to attack there. Oh, maybe not. That's their entire army. Okay, that's fine. Influence. I'm going to wait till I'm ahead of time on Diplo. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many events here. Once we get a little bit more income. Eh, a little bit more. More income. We'll be able to do this. Now, this one's going to be take some time. Reclaim the Aegean. So yeah, I need to attack these guys sooner rather than later. They are no longer in the HRE. That'd be super easy because I could co-belliger in Albania. And Cyprus, actually. No, not Cyprus. But I could probably annex Cyprus in that war. Great way to get some naval bases over here. Though we already have them in Rhodes. Speaking of, let's uh, get rid of that fort so I don't need to pay for it. Austria would join this war against the Ottomans. I don't think I need you, but I appreciate the uh, the sentiment there. Now this one, this next idea is going to be really good because it's going to give us the liberty desired subjects. Naval force them is going to be solid. Galley combat. Galley cost is going to be really useful as well. So yeah, we're just sitting here waiting. Meanwhile, their war exhaustion is going to be skyrocketing. So we're in a good spot. Uh, Istria already had the rebels there, so let's go ahead and convert you guys. And now you guys can get turned off of the edict there. We already have trade power down over there, so we are good. Yep. So this province will get converted, and then Bergamo is the last one. Very solid, man. Very solid. Yeah, we're not able to consecrate many pet metropolitans, sadly. This one here can be consecrated, so they have that. Muscovy announced me as their rival. Interesting. Even though I am brothers in the faith with you, you son of a biscuit. Oh, hey, look at this. We're sieging down Hudavendigar. Byzantium is. I love that flag, too, by the way. That's the um, Baltic flag pack in my uh, my mod pack. Baltic, I said. Balkan. <laughs> State maintenance. Governing capacity. Let's go. Well, vassal play. Yeah, governing capacity is not very useful. I suppose global trade power is good. Let's go with global trade power. And uh, yeah, we're just sitting here. 
like all these provinces are getting crazy devastation, which is unfortunate. Let's have you guys come over here and have you guys come over here. You guys come here and these guys group up over here. We're basically done looting most of those provinces. So the amount of loot you get scales up with how many regiments are in that province. So it's just for more organization. I guess we'll lose the money. Oh, they peaced out and they released a province to Serbia, huh? And this one here. Interesting. This would actually be way easier. We can take their provinces. Not co-belligerent Genoa. And that will allow me to take those provinces from them. So let's do that. Let's um have this stack here handle that and have these guys handle this. Now Genoa is based out of a bunch of areas. So we do need to be mindful of that. But we need to get the, the Ottomans full occupied over here. Let's have you guys head up here to this province here with a general, of course. Okay, very good. And apparently he got his loot back as well. So that's hilarious. Or no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. This is their fort here. So we're going to have to get some men on that fort. They are building up a regiment, so we got to get these guys here. And let's have you guys head over this way. Have you guys head over this way. And uh, I imagine Genoa is going to march some men over there onto uh, Bergamo. Be cooler if you didn't. This is nice. Again, always be ahead of time on Diplo and Admin if you can. 20% production efficiency and 20% trade efficiency. Both of those combined give you like crazy buffs to your economy. So it's basically always worth it. All right, so Ottomans, you're going to return all of Bulgaria's cores to him. And uh, just like that, the Ottomans will be entirely pushed out of uh, the Balkans region. Pretty good. And uh, I'm not going to take anything else in this war, but I will. However, oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't think so, dudes. And they got stack wiped. All right, cool. So let's get you guys over here. And siege down their capital. And there we go. They're not even sieging out. They're blockading me, you sons of guns. All right. Well, the Ottomans over here are basically... Yeah, they'll be ready to peace out soon. Because I'll just sit on the war goal. I don't particularly mind. Do we have mill access? We do not have mill access. So that's the entire Ottoman fleet, yeah? Yep, that's the entire Ottoman fleet. So we can detach these guys. And have a leader head over here and siege down these provinces from them. The Byzantines, Byzantines are actually putting in work over here. I like that. These guys are uh, getting some armies built up as well. Have you guys head over this way. They are on my capital. How? They landed men on my capital. All right, that's fine. That is fine. Now, I do need to be careful about this one because I guarantee you they have the Navy. So that is something to be mindful of. They are going to be getting some men making progress on my capital. So I need to get over here. If I could piece out the Ottomans sooner rather than later, that would be nice. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I suppose we're just going to risk it for the biscuit here. I'm going to go down to speed four. Get another general and we're going to boat bomb them off my capital because you guys have absolutely no right to be doing that. They have so many ships though. What in the world? There you go. They're uh, sending their navies in one at a time, actually, which is like best case scenario. We have a much better chance of winning that fight than they do. Uh, let's go with morale of navies as well. Why not, man? Sink a few of their ships. I didn't lose any. Oh my gosh, what a massacre. What a massacre. And just like that, now they're, uh, their fleet, there they go. Oh, they took their capital back, sadly. But uh, yeah, take a look at this. I've lost 6,000 men or whatever. 5,600 and they have lost uh, 14. So that's pretty good, I would say. Them some good numbers there. Uh, we can take admin tech, so I will take that. Now these guys are full occupied over here and Crimea is in the war because they are a, a march. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, that's dangerous. I totally forgot about that actually. So have you guys grouped up over here and time to kill some Ottoman navies because they're blockading a bunch of my ports and that's why they have uh, war, war enthusiasm right now. This is fine. The more of their ships that we catch, the better. 
pretty sure I just, like, went right past their ships. Give them a repair tick. Yeah, Ottomans will do nothing. They'll do nothing. We've won the siege over here. Very good. So let's get you guys over here. It looks like we're going to have to beat up on some Ottoman. That's fine. All right. These guys are ready to roll. So let's kill as many ships as humanly possible. The more that we destroy, the better. Come on, baby. Yes. This is their transport fleet. Oh, we're stealing so many of them. I don't want the transports, though. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you knew this was coming. Let's have you guys come over here, and then they can uh, pull them out. No big deal. Okay. And we'll do an evacuation here. No big deal. And we've won the siege over here, so we will... Take these three provinces, and then I'm going to also take these two provinces. That will be the war. That will be what we're going to take in this war. So, quite a bit of war going on right now. But, uh, yeah, Ottomans, we have taking war score as well. So, it's like, who cares? It, it literally means nothing. And we'll be able to reconquest all of that. Um, and then these guys here. They would probably make another good vassal, but... I don't know. Probably not so necessary. Though, remember, we're going to get an extra Diplo slot. And uh, the fact that we are a republic means that we cannot um, get strong duchies, which is a for unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get over here. Ottomans have 22,000 men, so I'm actually going to not do that right now. All right, so Genoa is still marching their little one stacks around. Yeah, this will take some time. All right, let's get a couple of guys over here on skill. And uh, hopefully not get uh, beat up on by an Ottoman fleet. We just need to catch out all their little navies and stuff as well. It'll just take some time. Okay, so there's actually an army there. So let's have you guys group up over here. That way we can take a few more men. There we go. Uh, privateer efficiency or improved relations. Let's go with privateer efficiency. Uh-oh. Genoa is in another war. Serbian conquest. Uh-oh. Serbia attacked them as well. That's great. So that means Serbia will come over here and siege down Genoa's capital for me. That's, uh, that's pretty great. That's, uh, poggers, as the kids say. So we also have a big, um, stack of my vassal over here, which is great. So I suppose we can pull these guys over here. And uh, all these forts over here have been dismantled by the Ottomans because they're uh, silly. Let's say I want Byzantium to siege that down. They have a 12 stack there. Hmm. All right. If they want to sit there on that cap on that fort, that is like honestly best case scenario for us. Let's come on over here. Yep. Easy peasy, baby. Oh my gosh. The amount of ships that we've destroyed is like absolutely nuts. Okay. Uh, so now I guess we just do some carpet sieging over here, yeah? Because they've got an army somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but it's somewhere. So this is what we're taking in this war. 59%. You can see Serbia is over here sieging down the uh, Genoese capital, which is great. Bergamo will now be converted. So we'll put you guys there and turn this one off so we're not paying for it. And uh, more production is good. It's uh, those buildings will just they're so useful. They'll put themselves off in no time. Half off commandant level three. Uh, it's not really necessary. I don't want to lose mill mana. I'm working on a diplo group, so I guess we will lose mill mana. Albania wants a piece. I say no. So as soon as we take the Ottomans capital here, we'll be we'll be in a good spot now. Uh, they do have. Let me see here. That is a really cool looking color. Ramazan has a nice color. As soon as I take these provinces... Oh my gosh, their siege ability is so good! They're going to take Constantinople before I get my armies over there. That is actually insane, bro. Um, Yep, and they got another 10 stack. Yeah, that's, uh, that's painful, man. Ottomans, man. They don't mess around. Alright, so here's a one-to-one -one army we have with them. We have a better general. We have a 2-4 to their 1-3. Mm, this is reasonable. Especially if we can get a few more men uh, in and we can fight them in the farmlands or something. Or in Gresh Flatlands. Or if we can even fight them separately. Mm, catch their armies out separately would be good. Can we catch them? 
AI is always faster than the player, though. They're marching all the way up over here to Treviso. Guarantee you, they're just beelining it from my fort here. Hilarious. All right. As soon as they win Huda Vendigar, we'll be in a much better spot. But, uh, of course, they don't win a 40-some percent. Why would they? All right. So this is actually fine. If they want to march over here and stand on my fort, they can uh, be my guest because they'll do nothing. I'll put you on defensiveness, and I'll just let them sit there and rot. Uh, I need to keep an eye on them so they don't take the fort, but... You know, it is what it is. And uh, this is the peace deal that I would really like. Now, here's the question. Uh, we're not even close to it. A large city. So I suppose I could probably yoink dev, right? It would add three. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We're going to need Constantinople back. Oh, I, I don't want to concentrate development from them. Um, I meant to say here... Byzantium, go seed your capital back, you dingus. Now, here's the question. Is if I attack them, they're not going to get, like, crushed. They're taking attrition, though. They are giving me devastation, yeah? So my prosperity and my capital is gone, gone. What's the uh, siege ticks here? Oh, they're good. Good siege ticks. Let's put these guys on siege as well. Defensiveness. That way Crimea can't be super annoying. And they're sieging over here. That's fine. Stability. Now, hmm, I would love to boost my stability up a little extra, but I suppose I'm not going to have the option to. Half off level two advisor, though. It's not bad. I don't think I need you anymore, though. I think we'll go with him. He's half off, so we'll definitely go with him. Plus, I, want, I need the extra mana, and I'll lose the Republican tradition for money. That is fine with me. So our economy should be much more stable than the minus six it's saying we have. Minus four? Really? City's looted. Yeah, okay. Well, let's give him like one more monthly tick here. I will gladly pay admin for Patriarch Authority. That is worth, in my opinion. Let's go one more monthly tick. Just so they take a little bit of extra attrition. Let's head in here, and we can also, as soon as the battle starts popping off here. Oh, they uh, walked off the siege, so we can't. Um... Oh my gosh, are you joking? I'm shattering, too. That's nuts. The Ottoman are so broken. All right. They also got a morale tick, which is unfortunate. But um, now they should flee one province over. Let's do something like this here. Split, split. Yes. All right. Those guys are not fleeing. So they'll flee to Fruili. And there we go. So now the Ottomans have no army. Incredible. And that means we can come down here. And handle this Crimean army. Meanwhile, my vassals are handling all that over there. All is well, man. All is well. I would say this war went quite smoothly. Now, this stuff over here, we're just going to have to wait. Genoa. I might be able to just separate piece Genoa out. Uh, no, we need 10 war score against them. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh. Where are you guys going, huh? They do have a lot of cavalry. And if I can fight them in a bad terrain, it's actually to my advantage. Even if the pips are not there. Uh, the extra siege pips. Pope man is no longer a valid rival, so I should probably revoke that. That means I'm going to have to pick another rival here somewhere. Yeah, I'm actually going to track down this Crimean army. They're a horde, so they get 20% movement speed, so I will definitely not catch them. But... What in the world? I have no idea where they're going. Ottoman War Exhaustion. Oh, they're buying it down, actually. Hey, they juked me. You sons of guns. Sons with guns. All right. This is fine. Like I said, if I can fight them in woods or something, even if I take a minus one. Oh, my gosh. In Genoa's capital. Oh, they pieced out of that war, didn't they? They did. All right. Yeah, these guys are annoying, man. Can I catch them? I will let them lock into this down here this province down here and there we go so even though we take a minus one for attacking them in the woods they actually take a minus 25 percent because of um they're they're a horde and hordes get absolutely clapped if they fight you in bad terrain so all is well so let's get up here with you have these guys head over here with a siege pip so let's have you there instead and just like that we should be able to siege back constantinople Yep, they'll accept soon. So I think speed five is appropriate now. They're not going to take their capital back in any timely manner. I can, ooh.
that's a good piece deal for us here. We will take that. Now these guys are nice and big and juicy. Juicy. Pay off his debts, keep them loyal. Now I definitely want to have you guys divert your trade to me as well because they have a lot of trade over here as well as trade in uh, this node. So our income will be nice. Now we just need to kill this stack here. Get over onto Genoa. See if I can kill off Genoa's army. That would be super useful here. Oh, where did you come from? Didn't I just see them in the fog of war down here? I am Confucian. All right, there we go. Now, there we go. That's all I needed. I will take all your money as well because screw you. That's why. And just like that, we are looking gorgeous. Now, I could also release a... Um, I could also release Albania as a march. But that's pushing it a little bit. I'm not sure. But now you can see here... Player map mode looking real good. Um, I suppose I can just give Byzantium all these provinces over here. At least the ones that I don't already have cored up, so I don't have to pay. I don't have to core any of them actually. These provinces I will core up though. I'll, I'll core up the the islands. Well, actually, no, I won't. I'm just kidding. I will not. I will give those to Byzantium as well because we need to keep it under 10 if at all possible so let's take a look here if we go down to venetian sea we have 20 so we're actually double the size we're allowed to be so we're obviously going to have to release some vassals here or give some provinces to vassals eventually and we will but uh, if you guys are enjoying make sure you let me know leave a like on the video thumbs up for smashing the ottomans as you can see now the ottomans are nothing they're a shell of what they once were and uh, it's not going to get any better for them i'll tell you that but now we have to start setting our sights down to uh the mamluk sultanate in the south which is going to be an absolute powerhouse. But if you guys are enjoying, share your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter, all those things are linked in the description below. And uh, join my Patreon if you can support me over there if you would like to. That is the best way to support content that you love if you got it within your means. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.